Now, it's the removing the 9x1 Duro 90 inside the action that actually seals the reg body again, all right? And again, you have to customize your tools or your pick. Mine is like this. Bend, it was, I bent the heck out of it until it's perfect to, for my need. And again, you want to poke halfway through the O-ring, not through it, and gouge up the actual O-ring groove inside the action. Right. It's hard to see, but it's inside there. You just poke halfway through the O-ring and pry it out and push back. Is your O-ring inside there? I mean, it's very dark in there. And it's hard to do this and use a pick at the same time. I do this so often, I use one of those bicycle lamps, you know. I just put it on, I put it on my head, I could work double-handed, all right? Whatever you feel comfortable to get that O-ring out. When we get the O-ring out, you have to clean inside here because it is dirty. You know, I should have done this before I attach everything, but either way. You got to take your time and clean this really good. All right. Then at the very bottom where the, it's nice to use a, a pointy one so you can grab air, the dead end of the bore where all dirt builds up between the o-ring and this o-ring sealing surface for this body this fat o-ring here it's you gotta know where it sits and you have to clean the area where it sits and all the way down where the piston sits Right. Now let's kind of pre-lube it. Here's a one by nine Duro 90 O-ring that goes in there. You gotta lube that. This is probably the most time consuming O-ring to you know, properly put it back in this O-ring groove. Of course, it's a long bore, it's about a half inch in there. To make it easier, I got one of these tools here. So it's, it's a moon shape, so I could push it in. Of course, you need to push it in. When it's pushed in in place, right, then I use the back side to put it inside the O-ring groove. Then they're trying to keep it in the O-ring groove and I'll push the rest in and hopefully it will fall into place, but it doesn't all happen, I mean, at the first try. I'm just trying to not get lucky and make it the half moon. When I'm seeing over the O-ring groove, I kind of push it in there. All right, you gotta verify it's in there, fully seated. If not, if you don't, when you slide this in, it's a blind spot. If it sticks out, this baby here is gonna crimp that O-ring and nick it and break it. Well, not break it, but they will damage it. All right, when you're ready to slide this in, you got to lube, well, I did lube it, but it just comes off when I'm just playing around with it. Mm -hmm. It's ready to go in. <clears throat> now your piston is ready to go in. Make sure your O-ring is lubed. You want to kind of 
shove it in, the, in this position so it doesn't fall out to the tool. Right. I'm going to sit in there, you can flip it back up. And we press in, you hear a little snap. It doesn't want to go in anymore. Pull out your tool, make sure there's no washer in it. All right. Always verify it's in there. If not, you want to damage the piston, smash the washer. All right, that's already pre lube. You slide it in, align it. You get messy around, you can't find the stuff. Here you go. I'm sure, your workbench is cleaner than mine, by the way. Here it is. Uh, you should screw in easily without binding. And you don't really tighten the heck out of this. That's it. Now uh, we're going to screw on the rig screw. Now, you got to make sure it turns nice and smooth, not without binding. And you turn it to a lightly seated on a piston, lightly. And you back it out, you got a little reference for it, back it out one and a half turns. Right there, that should be around 100 bars usually, on or about. All right. Now,